Okay, now we're back in uh, Photoshop and uh, I'm going to make the texture for this pot and uh, I will start with uh, selecting only the parts of this that I'm going to use and uh, right click uh, layer via cut and uh, delete the background. Then I'm going to clean up this uh, a little bit and uh, select the clone stamp, opacity 100, flow 100. Uh, around that size, 70% uh, hardness, and then I zoom it. Select from here, like that. Maybe. Um, okay, those we can uh, fix with a point cleaning brush. Smart a bit, like that. That's one more point. Oops, that didn't work very well. Okay, I'm going to use the phone stamp here. Okay, I can do it in here. This has to be on this work. like that. Now uh, it's almost done. I'm going to correct it uh, only slightly. So uh, select uh, liquify and uh, increase the brush size. Uh, not that much, maybe so. Uh, and uh, I have to make this uh, line straight up here. So uh, I'm going to select the forward warp tool, zoom in a bit, and uh, just uh, straighten this up, like so. Maybe. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I do the same down here. That was a bit too much. So, uh, yeah. Just like this. Uh, decrease the brush in the terminals previously. Like so. Now it's almost done here. And the, the final thing is I uh, want to make the texture uh, repeatable. So uh, I'll uh, select this side and part in here. That much, I think. And uh, right click layer via cut and uh, control T to move this part now and overlay it like that. Uh, you can see if you can press enter, it doesn't blend very well. Oops, it must have been moved. Move that to the top here. Like that. Enter. Then we select the eraser tool, opacity 58, hardness very low. And we just start painting out this edge. You can increase the opacity. And just feather edge. Uh, these two sides will uh, repeat uh, perfectly because uh, yeah, they just press uh, and then use the crop tool to uh, crop. I'm gonna save these parts on the top and the bottom. And, uh, yeah, like this. Press enter, and now this texture is done. Let's save it. Save as. Uh, Hot texture and as a JPEG image. Save. Maximum uh, quality. Okay. And now we're going to uh, create the texture for the table. So uh, 
uh, navigate to the uh, image sequence uh, and uh, take the I'm going to take the first image because it's the one where you see most of the table uh, I can I could pick anyone but I go for this one and uh, I will just uh, use the crop tool here zoom out a little and make the image a little higher like that and just uh, shrink it down on the sides and I'll make it a little more higher I want to the kind of match the pro proportions of the table now I'm going to select the polygonal lasso tool zoom in on the table here Oops, a little too much. Here. Press on this corner. Move over here. So corner. This corner. This corner. And back. And close the selection. Uh, then uh, use uh, transform and uh, skew uh, no not that one uh, we're going to use the scale first and uh, fit the table approximately to the frame and then we're going to use uh, perspective and uh, widen the Base here, and then I'm going to use the no, I'm not yet, almost there. And then I'm going to uh, press Enter, and then Control T again, uh, and uh, skew, and I can. Uh, drag down these lines from the rulers here so I can see what's straight and what's not and uh, just uh, fill with this until it's done like that and uh, then I'm going to just finish this quickly here. Perfect. Press enter. Oops, there's a, some kind of black edge there, so I'll press Ctrl T again and just scale this up a little. Press enter. And I'm going to do, do a layer via cut and uh, select the background. Delete. And uh, use the crop tool again. And just uh, crop the edges here. Like that. Enter. And then you, I will press uh, save as. Go back to the folder. Table texture uh, JPEG and save maximum quality and then let's go back into 3ds max